Hey guys, how's it going? Azra Collections here, and today we're looking at another MeFX action figure. This was one of, one of my most highly anticipated action figure of 2020. Uh, this is the Hush Batman from MeFX. Alright, so looking at this figure up close, uh, let's look at all the paint uh, on the figure first. So, most of the paint looks alright. There's a little bit of a white spot here. Uh, the yellow looks pretty alright, and uh, the blues are done fine. It's just a really, I guess, uh, darker kind of toned grey. And the blues are also a little bit mute, but I think, yeah, it portrays the art pretty well. There's a little bit of a spot here on the head as well for me. The back is fine. Yeah, sculpt-wise, I think it's a good enough figure. There's just a lot of musculature going on, and it's just sculpted really well. But I think I find him a little bit skinny. Like, Batman in the story is, and Jim Lee's art, of course, is very bulky, so I think the muscles here are a little bit hidden in the shadows, a little bit to the back as well. So, yeah, I think that's the only complaint I have. Like, he does look a little bit skinny, but everything else looks pretty awesome. Like, uh, the cow piece on this one looks better than the cow piece on the Dark Knight Rise Returns Batman. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that that's all taped down, and... The cape is wired, but the cape is absolutely like massive. So that's the other thing that I kind of have an issue with. Because if you have him posed, he looks alright. But uh, yeah, when you're just looking at him like this, like the, the cape is like everywhere and really hard to manage. So that's the other thing. In terms of looks, I mean, he definitely does look the part of the comics, and he de definitely does have everything going for him in terms of looking like the Batman on the cover art with a lot of cape. But yeah, it's just a lot of capes too. And uh, yeah, when you just put them down, like it's kind of difficult to manage because there's a lot of cape. But it's alright. So in terms of likeness, I think that Batman definitely looks like his comic counterpart. And I was actually flipping through the pages of my comic to see if this Batman was accurate. And he's definitely there, like in terms of accuracy. But I think the only thing lacking, again, is just the musculature and how scrawny this Batman is. Like in the comics, Jim Lee just drew him to be so massive. That's the only gripe, but I think he definitely does look the part. Like, the head sculpt's actually pretty much there. And even the other head sculpts as well, so we'll go through them later. But they actually look on point, and they look pretty cool. So, I think accuracy definitely there, uh, but we'll check the other head sculpts later on. Uh, and, yeah, the cape, I think... Uh, I was complaining earlier that it was a little bit too big. But still, it's really easy to pose, and I got him in this pose in, like, what, quick, quick two minutes. So, that's something that's going on for this guy, and I really like it. So let's get into the articulation. I think that uh, this Batman has good articulation just in the head, so it goes up that much. And also with the neck, it goes up that much, goes down that much, which is pretty cool. He can bury the chin, he can tilt, he can rotate fully, no issues there. And the neck can also do some kind of pivoting. So there's a lot of movement going on in the neck. In terms of the shoulders, uh, yeah, he can go up that much. He's got a butterfly joint as well that can help him a little bit in up and down. But then, yeah, he's got a ball here as well. So I think ball hinge. Uh, bicep shoulder, bicep swivel. Bicep swivel is pretty cool. He's got a double elbow that reaches pretty deep. But yeah, he doesn't go all the way. But that, that looks good in terms of um, there's no gap or that doesn't look like, like a parallel thing going on. So even with the musculature, that's good articulation here. The wrist can rotate. There's up and down or in and out based on how you've got it configured. The abs, oh, that's pretty gappy, but the abs can go forward that much, go back that much. You've got two ball joints here, so he can pretty much do most poses pretty easily. Yeah, the only thing you have to worry about is once you um, work, it, work it, you might have, have problems aligning it later on. So that's the only issue there. The legs can split that much, which is all right. Is there a drop hinge? There is a drop hinge, so he could probably go out a little bit more with the drop hinge. He can kick forward that much and kick back that much um, the butt sculpt gets in the, gets in the way there is a little bit of a thigh swivel double joint in the knees and that's pretty good actually but yeah that uh, usually your action figures would have their knees come up to the butt but looks like the thigh is smaller on this this guy and the calves and the lower half of the leg is pretty long so yeah that's one thing and no boot cut the ankles can go forward back there's good ankle pivot and there's a toe hinge 
So in terms of additional heads, Batman comes with two additional heads in the packaging uh, other than the one that's already on the figure. So let's look at the mast head first. So the mast head has a grinning kind of grinning look and the teeth are showing. So the paint is pretty much spot on on this guy. Uh, he also has the same issue that I have with the other head on the figure. The ears are done well. There's a lot of details and it looks comic accurate. So yeah, that's pretty good. The scowl on the face is etched in. That is pretty cool. So next we move on to the Bruce Wayne head. So obviously this is a separate neck piece. So this neck piece replaces the cowled neck piece on the Batman figure. I've not tried it on yet, but I'll try it on later on. But uh, it should be pretty easy to swap. Usually with um, Apex they're pretty easy, but I'll give you an update on that. The head looks pretty cool. Very comic accurate in terms of Bruce Wayne's likeness. So that's going on for that. There's a little bit of highlight of blue on the hair as well. And it's done pretty well, so I really like it. There's a little bit of a glimmer on Batman's nose as well. But yeah, that looks like a pretty good Bruce Wayne. And a quick update, swapping the heads is pretty easy. So you just have to basically uh, plug that out and it plugs in pretty easy. So it's uh, pretty well done. So next up, we've got four Batarang pieces, two of each. So uh, let's look at this one first. So this one is more of a moon shaped kind of crescent Batarang. Uh, it's got pretty good details on it. There's a line going through the middle that's sculpted on. That's pretty cool. Uh, the paint is just silver, so nothing much going on there. But it's a really cool shaped Batarang, but without the bat ears. So that's the first that I've seen that, but it looks okay. The other Batarangs are more traditional, although they're shaped a little bit different as well. So you've got a lot of good bat details. And the ears are tiny, and they've still managed to sculpt it on, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, it's, it's more of a traditional Batarang, just without the wings. Usually Batman has like a wing that's going up, but this one, yeah, it's just uh, facing down, but looks like a functional Batarang. So you've got two of each on those. So next up, we've got two bat grapple pieces. One is a long bat grapple piece uh, with a metal attached to it. So that's pretty cool. It's just uh, when it's shot out of the bat uh, grapple launcher. And the next one is with a shorter piece. So it's basically the same as the other one, but the bat grapple uh, thread or the wire is shorter. But it's pretty good details on there. So uh, to explain this, uh, Batman comes with hands that have grapples on them. So you don't actually get a separate grapple piece, but you've got left and right hands with grapple pieces on them and you basically port it in. So that's how it works. And I'll go through the hands later, but the bat grapples are done pretty well. So this has to be the craziest thing ever because Batman comes with six extra pairs of hands and these are additional, not on the figure. The figure already comes with two fist hands, but this Batman comes with six additional pairs of hands. So let's start off with the first one. We've got two pairs of hands that are more relaxed and they're just reaching out. Uh, so the hands uh, themselves, they don't have much details on them. They're basically just hands that are painted to make it look like he's wearing gloves. So obviously the nails aren't sculpted, but yeah, the, he got, he's got two relaxed hands. Oop, I moved the camera there. Uh, next up, you've got, he's got two like normal, just, you know, uh, natural hands that are just staying there. Next, we've got two hands that are more kind of gripping onto things. So I think you could probably have him hold batarangs in there, but it could just work as grabbing onto stuff or his cape as well. So you can thread the cape through the, you could put the cape wire through here and that would hold the cape pretty well. You've also got two additional fist hands, but it's got a little bit of a port there. So the thumbs are sticking out a little bit and that will hold on to the batarangs. So you've got those, you've got Hands that have batarangs molded into them or sculpted into them. So these are hands that will definitely punch the living daylight out of people. But yeah, that's done really well. The paints are distinct. So there's a little bit of paint uh, splotch here. But everything else looks pretty good. And Batman could do a lot of damage with these bad boys. And next, we've got the two grapple launching hands. And this is for the right or the left and the right. So yeah. That's pretty cool. The paint detail on them looks pretty good and the bat grapple looks pretty solid and there's a line that they've painted through as well. So a lot of details there and very well done and a lot of hands for Batman. So last but not least, Batman also comes with a flight stand and this is the exact same flight stand that we saw with the Dark Knight Returns Batman and it works all right, but I still like the Mezco stands better. So yeah, uh, they, that just plugs in there and the other part plugs into the base 
and you can have Batman. You know, you can hold Batman onto. You can hold on to Batman using that and basically uh, put him in flight poses. But I still like the Mezco versions better. So here we have Batman compared next to some other Batman from the multiverse. On the extreme left there, we've got the Mezco Sovereign Knight Batman. Next to him, we've got the Mayfex Dark Knight Returns Batman. So uh, we've got two Mayfex figures next to each other. So next to our Hush Batman, we've got the Grim Knight Batman from McFarlane Multiverse. And on the extreme right there, we've got the Mattel Multiverse uh, BVS Batman. So here we have Batman next to some enemies and allies from the multiverse. Uh, on the extreme left there, we've got the Mattel Multiverse Builder figure Killer Croc. Right next to him, we've got the Mattel... Uh, Robin from the Arkham Knight, Arkham City game. Uh, in the middle, we've got the Hush Batman. On the right there, we've got the DC Collectibles, Arkham Origins, Deathstroke. And on the extreme right there, we've got the DC Films, Batman vs. Superman, Superman. So next, we've got action figures from a bunch of different lines. On the extreme left there, we've got the Marvel Legends, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine. Right next to him, we've got the Mezco Mutant Leader from Dark Knight Returns. In the middle, we've got the Hush Batman. On the right of Hush Batman, we've got the Triple H Ultimate Edition WWE figure, which is a 7-inch figure, so he's a little bit taller. And on the extreme end there, we've got Wonder Woman from DC Icons. So next, I've got a bunch of custom action figures so that I can lure you into watching my tutorial videos. On the extreme left there, we've got the custom Red Hood Mezco style. Next to him, we've got the Nightmare Batman custom Mezco style, but I've done a tutorial on him. It kind of looks alright, but I would definitely want to redo uh, Nightmare Batman's trunks. I didn't have the fabric, I still don't, so I'm just waiting for right, the right kind of fabric. Next to the Hush Batman, we've got the Superman custom, so this is the second version of the custom. So this is not the figure that I'm giving away, but it's a direct replica of that figure. I just created one for myself. And on the extreme right there, we've got the Dark Knight Returns Superman custom that I've done, and also a tutorial. This is just the updated version with the better belt. So closing thoughts on this action figure, this is an incredible action figure and I've really loved it ever since I got it open. And there's so much posability and the cape when in motion looks so good. I understand that when it's in a museum kind of pose, the cape just kind of hinders, like it looks fluffy and difficult to work with. But when you got him posed, I really like it. So this makes me really excited for the Hush Superman that's coming out. And because this guy's got comic accurate colors, I actually prefer this version over the black. But I know that some of you might really be interested in the black. So I'm definitely thinking of getting the black version as well. And if I do get him, I'll do a review of him as well. But this figure I think is definitely worth your money and definitely worth the pickup. I'm really happy with him and posing him around. Just trying to get him into some of the comic book poses is been so much fun. And I'll post some pictures of some uh, poses that I've put him in later on. But yeah, this is just a really cool action figure. I really like him. The cape is the only drawback that I can think of uh, because you need to fudge around with it a little bit. And the only other thing is the bulk. This Batman's not as bulky, but there's just so much possibility. And look at that. I mean, like it's, it's absolutely awesome. So if you do have the chance to buy him, do so and you will not regret it. So I like this action figure a lot. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, it was a lot of fun making this video especially because of the posability of this Batman and I'm really excited on what Mayfax holds in the future. But I hope you like this and uh, thank you all for entering the giveaway, uh, congratulations to the winner and see you in the next videos and hopefully I'll come up with more customs as well. So see you in the next video guys, thank you.